Today I'm going to show you how to make a really adorable bunny that's a great design for Easter. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands. For your bunny you're going to need a 260 in lime green. Whilst you're here, do remember to hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my future videos, which I publish on Tuesdays. And I really hope you're going to give this video a thumbs up. For your balloon bunny, first of all, you're going to need a lime green 260 and mine's got a tail of four or five fingers or so. I'm going to begin by making a flower petal base. So make loops of about mm, between three and four fingers depending on what you're comfortable with and just making that and if you want to know more detail how to make this flower base then check out my video how to make a balloon daisy and uh, i go much more slowly in that video okay so you make five petals or six petals i'm going to make six There we go, just arrange everything and there's your six petal flower base. Okay, you can set this aside. Take a quick link, a six inch quick link, uh, I'm using white, we can plate that and then I want to let somewhere, I want this to be a nice round shape. So I'm not particularly measuring um, how many inches this is, I'm more looking for the shape. And that's nice and round, so put a twist there, take your flower petal base and just wrap that end into that base. You don't even need to tie a knot, okay? So that's what you've got. Next we're going to make some bunny ears. So I've got a 160 with a tail of perhaps about six fingers or so. And then I've got an uninflated section here. I've tied the knot here and I've left an inch or so here uninflated, okay? And then what we want to do is just take these ends together and just tie them, okay? And this bit here with the tip on, you can trim that away. And then take your balloon, fold it in half, at this point just pinch the two sides together and then twist the top section, okay? And that will just split that balloon and that gives us a couple of ears. Bring those two bits together, twist round and just pass one through the other, okay? And at this point you can put some shaping into your ears, so just pull them together and give them a bit of a wiggle, okay? Just adds a little bit of interest to your bunny's ears. And if you're enjoying this video, you may enjoy my new series, Critters. So I've got six new designs, new animal designs, which are perfect for line work. I do a quick line work version and then also a deluxe version if you're wanting to step the design up a little bit as a delivery piece. So do check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. The great thing about the Critters video is if you don't like doing pinch twists and you're not quite at your that stage in your balloon career where you're comfortable with pinch twists, then I show you ways to avoid making pinch twists and you can create all these designs without having to make a pinch twist. Next, take a five inch round and inflate and I'm over inflating, so I'm stretching out that latex. I'm going to let the air out and I really want to sort of test this balloon and see um, how much I can stretch it. So I'm holding on to the, the nozzle here, I've not tied it, squeezing the air up and then making sure that I can do what I want to do with this balloon. So I'm happy with the size that I've got there. I'm tying the knot high on the, the neck and then I'm just rolling it along to the end. So the knot is up towards the nozzle. Then you want to take your bunny's head and squeeze the air up into the neck. Take that bit of um, a section of 160 that we kept at the beginning and place the two knots together and with your forefinger push those knots through and you're aiming for 
the bottom part of the balloon that is just a little bit higher up than this darker area here. In the latex you can see a slightly darker area. So push those nozzles through, grab hold of them, okay, and give them a twist. So keep hold of those, take a little bit of 160 when inflated, and you're just going to wrap that around a couple of times. Uh, you're still hanging on to those um, knots, and then we just want to tie a knot in that 160 and then when we've tied once we tie a second time okay so that's what we've got so take the tip of your quick link and just push the air out take these two tails just wrap them round and just tie the two together and then you can trim off the excess from these 160s. Next, take another 160, and this has got a tail of a couple of fingers, and you want to make a small loop, okay? So off a couple of fingers, and then take that nozzle and knot and just pass it through, and then make another small loop to match that one, okay? If you want, just wrap that bit of neck and nozzle around just to give it a bit more uh, security, give your balloon a bit of a squeeze, take your sculpture and just wrap this 160 loosely around the neck, okay? So we don't want it to sort of grip the neck so that it's pushing the, the head up, we just want it to sort of nestle in that space between the, the head and the body, okay? And then wrap your 160 into those two little hands there, okay? You can trim the rest off. Hang on to this bit. Put a twist in there. And tie it off. Oops. So you're going to need this section, so hang on to that. And then you're going to want to just put a little knot into these arms, okay? So that's what you've got so far. Take the rest of this 160 and make another couple of little loops as we did for the arms, okay? So I'm doing exactly the same thing, another little loop to match, okay? Twist them around if you want to. Take your sculpture and just wrap that around the base of your bunny, okay? And then just twist that 160 into those lip twists at the beginning, okay? And just trim this off. Trim the end off, let it down, tie a knot, okay? And then just wrap that around, okay? And again, this is just sort of comfortably encircling the lower part of the balloon. Okay, so this is what you've got so far. And before I go any further, I like to draw the face at this point. So I'm using a bullet tip sharpie and I'm just going to draw two large circles. Okay, and do another one to match that. With a dark pink, I like to draw a little nose, which I just do as a little heart and then I colour that in and whilst all that's drying just take an Edding 750 paint pen and make a large white spot in the, each eye. A smaller dot after it. Take a pale pink sharpie and draw a large circle so just to one side of the eye. Do the same on the other side. And then with a the black Sharpie, I just outline that little nose and then draw a little mouth. Three little dots, whoops. And some whiskers. 
Next I make a little carrot, so I take a bit of 160 uh, lime green and make a small loop twist of two to three fingers and I'm just going to make three more loops like this. Okay. And then I'm going to trim off about here. I'm going to let a little bit of air out and I'm just going to tie that off there. Then you're going to need a little section of about three to four inches or so of 160 orange. And I'm going to take that tip and just wrap that in there. And this is the tip end. It doesn't really matter uh, whether you, it's the middle part of a, the beginning, the middle or the end of, of the balloon. But you just need a little section here that you're going to be able to um, use to wrap in. And then take your little bunny and with that little tail from the hands there, I just use that to wrap that into the top of the carrot. Okay. So, and then I take that little tip and I just wrap that little tip from the carrot into the feet and that just holds it nicely in position. No bunny is complete without his little bunny tail. So what I like to do is just inflate the tip end of a 260. So that's only a one and a half finger bubble. But the really important thing is uh, that you use a tip that's got a decent amount of excess. Um, and then just take that excess and just pull that underneath the 160 at the back. Now, if you, um, if you're, you're, a bit of white 260 here is too short um, and you pull that now into the base it will push the body forward and the legs will come away from the body and it just doesn't look right at all so what you want to do is just quite gently really wrap that tail into uh, the um, flower pestle base and so your little tail just sits there quite nicely and one final thing I like to do is I just take a black sharpie and I just draw a few lines on the carriage. Okay. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to keep the, the wand and have your, your bunny on a wand or whether you want to discard this and just wrap that in. So there you've got a really cute bunny. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next video.